The Electoral Commission and the National Identification Authority appeared before Parliament to defend the new constitutional instrument. The minority NDC, however, rejected the proposal, arguing that if passed in its current form, it will deny voting rights to many qualified citizens, citing the difficulty in attaining the Ghana card. But the seven minority parties made up of the GCPP, LPG, APC, PNC, NDP, GFP and GUM agree to the ECIS proposal. There was consensus on this new CI at IPAC. This then means that when this new CI comes into force, persons who are yet to be a registered voter would require only the national identification card as evidence of identification to deal with issues of having minors and foreigners on our voter register. We therefore use this medium to call on Parliament to ensure the new CI is laid to help guarantee the integrity and credibility of our voters' register and reduce the chaos at registration centres. The group accused the opposition NDC of double standards. Can the NDC tell us how a national identity card as a source document to register as a new voter be a regular machinery? The same electoral commission they discredit conducted their recently ended elections of their national officers and also will conduct and supervise the election of presidential candidates and parliamentary candidates. Ghana has come a long way with our democracy and has attained enviable achievements in the sub-region and across the globe and we should not allow baseless suspicions to ruin the successes we have chalked all over the years. Let us channel our energies to implore government to release resources to the National Identification Authority to honor their mandate so that we can adhere to the laws that mandate us to use the national ID as an evidence of identity to register as a new voter. They vow to go to Parliament to demand the laying of a CI if their sequence of lobbying fails to yield the desired results.